Hello and welcome to another week of Fun Science with Professor Boffin, with your host, me, Professor Boffin. This week we're going to do elephant's toothpaste. Now you might have seen this at school if you're lucky enough, um, or you might even seen it on YouTube. But what you might not know is this is something that you can actually do at home with things just from the cupboard, um, not necessarily the food cupboard, possibly the medicine cupboard as well. Let me show you. We've got some fast action dried yeast here. This is needed to make the elephant's toothpaste come out of the bottle. We've also got some hydrogen peroxide solution. Now this is stuff that you can get uh, in the local chemist. They will sell it to you. It's uh, 6% 20 bowls concentration uh, hydrogen peroxide. So you can get this for a couple of quid from any good chemist. Um, we also need some warm water, a nice clear area just in case it goes everywhere. You don't want to uh, make a mess. Um, and right, let's get going, a few other things. So the first thing we need to do is activate the yeast. This is what acts as a catalyst to set the elephant's toothpaste going. The yeast contains an enzyme and that enzyme helps break down the hydrogen peroxide and make the elephant's toothpaste. I've got about four tablespoonfuls of warm water here. You don't want it too warm otherwise you'll kill the yeast. So sort of lukewarm, about body temperature, no more than 37 degrees. So I set this and the yeast will start going. Right, we'll leave that while we get the rest ready. Yuck. In here we want to put, and this is just an old drinks bottle, you want to put a hundred millilitres of hydrogen peroxide. Make sure you always put the lid back on any unused or open bottles just to make sure nothing spills. Uh. And then, as if by magic, we have some dishwasher liquid. You want a good squirt of it in there. That's the magic ingredient that makes the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Toothpaste is often blue. Be careful with the blue food colouring. A little bit of that. Just to give it that nice toothpaste colour. And then I'll use a funnel, just make sure it all goes in. We have the yeast. This is the magic ingredient that will start it going. So here goes. And there it goes. Elephant's toothpaste. Let's not make too much mess. Really, really gloopy. If I feel it, it's warm. So, so if you can tell me how this works, why adding some yeast from your cupboard used to make bread can set off this hydrogen peroxide and make this lovely, lovely elephant's toothpaste and why it gets warm and what all these bubbles are made of, then leave a comment on, at the, end, on the end of the video and let me know. This is Professor Boffin signing off till next month.